Good morning and welcome back to Kita's Creations. So today we're going to be um, looking into methyl cellulose as well as um, hydroxyphyl cellulose. And I may have slaughtered that name, but <laughs> anywho, moving on. So these are both um, gelling or thickening agents that are derived from cellulose. As you know, cellulose is um, derived from plants. Um, the, uh, I'm trying to see which one is which. Okay, so this I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure this one is the methyl cellulose. Um, and the only reason why I kind of remember because I I did actually put these two together last night. Um, and last night, uh, this particular one, the methyl cellulose it's nice and clear here I want you guys to see how nice and thick and clear this is a really beautiful gel to be honest like man we were talking about um, polymers you know um, in another video and carbomer at that time being a really popular um, polymer because of you know I guess the versatility the fact that it didn't get really sticky kind of like uh, xanthan gum or whatever it would be and so what i'm excited about with these two is that it has a really similar um structure i would say uh you know obviously as you can see this looks really close to uh carbomer as well as this um however as you can see this one is still full of bubbles what happened was i had prepared them both uh last night both this uh, methyl cellulose and this one, I'm not going to try to pronounce the name, but I prepared them both last night at the uh, usage rates that it suggested. So it's saying that with the methyl cellulose, which is this one, to use this one anywhere from 0.2 to 1%, and I use that in about um, 100 grams of water. And the usage rate for this um, hydroxyl cellulose or whatever, um, the usage rate is about 0.5% to 2%. So I use them both at that usage rate. And like I said, this one, this one is now nice and clear. was just like this last night. You can see the bubbles. So what happened was I got up this morning and this one was still pretty clear. I just used my high shear mixer and this uh, methyl cellulose more or less just um, dispersed really, really like quickly and easy uh, using the high shear mixer. However, this one, um, the powder in the water just literally sat for so long that I almost gave up. I'm not going to lie. I had it sitting for at least 30 minutes to an hour and it still just had powder at the bottom. So I just decided to let it sit. And I got, came back down this morning. When I came back down, what I noticed was the water was more or less sitting on top of this. And they it had a really thick gel, almost like uh, if you hydrated um, gelatin, like raw gelatin, that's the best uh, comparison I can give. So that's kind of what this one was like. So what I did was, because it had the thick gelatin kind of um, at the bottom, and it was really hard and solid. Um, I ended up just taking my uh, immersion blender and I uh, used that for a few seconds to disperse it um, evenly throughout the water that was just sitting on top. So what it says for this one to mix it is you're supposed to continuously stir. You can use your high shear mixer to, uh, you know, obviously uh, blend this. But I'm going to tell you now, if you're using this for a project um, or formulation, you want to make sure that you allow this time to fully hydrate because it's not, and I put emphasis on, it's not going to be the same product that you walk away from. So if you don't give up on it, you know, obviously it took a while, and this is supposed to be designed to give a clear gel-like substance just like this methyl cellulose here. So I can't give you the, you know, exact look of it just yet like you know we can do this because this one as i said it's dispersed fairly quickly and evenly and even though i use the high shear mixer as you can see it you know it had foam initially but once the foam dispersed it, it's a beautiful clear gel and like i said this one i i like too from what i'm able to see now that it's nice and it's mixed i was a little worried though last night i honestly didn't 
know how long it would take to um, fully hydrate. So I'm going to say give this time a few hours, you know, this um, hydroxyl cellulose or whatever. And again, you want to use this hydroxyl cellulose at a usage rate of anywhere from 0.5 to 2%. And then you want to use this methyl uh, cellulose at a usage rate of 0.2 to about 1%. So you're going to use much less than this uh, methyl cellulose. However, I just want you guys to see how beautiful. Like if you're trying to make hair gels, this is so beautiful. And what I like about... What I really like about the methyl cellulose, just from the feel, honestly, if you take a little bit and put it in your hands, it honestly just feels like a really nice lotion. It's, it's like hydrating. It's, you know, it just feels really, really good. And it doesn't have that tackiness that, um, you know, xanthan gum would give. Um, and with this one, I'm going to say it doesn't quite give the feel of um, a lotion, but... You know, whereas this one, I would more or less probably use this in like uh, conditioners, this methyl cellulose, um, because of just the, I don't know, it's, I can't explain the feel, you'd have to just really try it for yourself. Whereas this one, I would probably more or less use in a hair gel, but then again, it's up to preference. You know, I guess, I think this gives a really solid um, gel, but it's, it's not as conditioning as this one, and that's just my um, personal review. So. Anywho, um, that is it for today. I hope you guys uh, learned something from this video. And my biggest advice always when you're formulating any kind of product, you always want to just do your own research and you want to, um, you know, obviously do your own uh, examples like this just to see what's going to work best for you and your product. But anywho, until next time, thank you for watching Cutest Creations. You guys have a good day. Bye.